So in the last episode, we were able to create our cut context and the use context hook. And in this episode, I want us to wrap our app with this cut context provider so that we can be able to access these values in any part of our application. Now to do that, I'll come at the root here and I'll create a new folder called providers. So I'll say providers and right here, I'll create a new file and I'll call this one cut provider dot tsx and we'll create this component as a client component because remember this cut context provider makes use of the use state hook and uh, other form of interactivity uh, which makes it to be a client component and when we hook it up to our cut provider which is a client component it will also be considered as a client component and we can be able to make use of all those uh, use that hook and so on. So here I'll call this one use client. So you include this directive to make sure that this is a client component. We will have an interface, a cart provider props. And right here we'll accept children. And these children will be the different components in our application. Uh, therefore, there'll be type of react dot react node and right here let's create our component and i'll say status functional component and this will be our cut provider component like that uh, which will now accept these children so here we will destructure our children like that but let's make sure that it knows about this so therefore here we say react dot fc and pass our cut provider props and now it's aware of these children and these children uh, we will wrap them with our cut context provider right here we will do this then you can use control space to import it from hooks use cut and then we call it like this and right here we will be able now to pass our children so i save and now this way we just need to take this card provider then we go to our layout let's come to layout here and we will wrap this one right here with our card provider component so here i'll say card provider and i pass this div in here and save and now all these components uh, that are in here, the navbar, the footer, and even our main application uh, will be passed as children to our card provider. So we will receive it here and then we'll wrap these children with our card context provider, which we defined at our use card file right here. And that way, all those components will be able to access our uh, value right here by making use of this use cut hook remember in this use cut we are exporting our context which accesses the values from cut context and we can test this one out so we can go to one of the files and try to access our uh, cut total quantity so what we will do uh, i can minimize everything i'll go to up and we can go to products uh, we can even do it at product details right here so i can minimize this one and at the top here remember use cut is a hook so we should do it at the top of the file so maybe before everything we can say const and here we can destructure the dif different values from our cut context and one of the value that we included was the cut total quantity you can see it's suggested and we set this to be equal to use cut like read this one here which we created this one comes from hooks use cut and we make sure to invoke this so we make sure to invoke that and we can log this cut total quantity to the console so instead of product here i will log the cut total quantity and i save now if we inspect this and go to console let's refresh everything 
you will see that we have this uh, zero here which represents our cut total quantity uh, okay we have these uh, warnings for the images uh, warnings are not that bad just make sure that you don't have any errors you can try to fix them but for now uh, I'll just proceed because that was not the goal for this particular video and if I come back to use cut here you see that zero is this one right here so if we change this default value and save you'll see that it will update here to 10 and we are accessing this on our product details so if we go to a different page like the home page you see uh, we don't see that 10 we don't see that 10 because now we are on a different route so this uh, it's working and now we'll easily be able to access the values that we export right here uh, from anywhere in our application so for now i'll just remove all this this was just for demonstration purpose so i can remove them and i'll save and now in the next episode let's see how we can add a product to our cart